Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. It's your girl XO Zozo here once again with another one, okay? So in today's video, like I said on Instagram, I will be showing y'all how to do a tutorial on editing on iMovie um, along with having some pretty fonts in case you don't want to have that boring iMovie look. All right, y'all, so the first thing I just want to show y'all, um, just take a look at the little apps I have here. I'm not going to go through each of them, but what I will say is essential to this video is Keynote, iMovie, um, YouTube, if you are going to upload your video to YouTube, of course, I would hope, <laughs> and then um, the files and documents. So basically all of them, you really want to get all of them. Eraser and Fonto is more so if you're doing a thumbnail. If you guys want, I can go over a um, thumbnail video for you. Just let me know in the comments down below and I can make another video to show you guys how I do that. The first thing I just want to show you guys is how on my iPad, I downloaded the footage from my camera and my computer onto my iPad through iMovie, well through iTunes and then iMovie. Like I said, there's a bunch of videos on YouTube on how to do that. So you guys can just honestly look one up. It's not hard at all, but if you guys want me to do it, I will show you how I do it. Okay. But for this video and the time purposes of this video, I am going to skip over that part. Okay, so now we're back on my um, little application screen. So the first thing that you're going to do after you have all of your videos imported into your file cabinet or into iMovie, you're going to open up iMovie. I've already started one because I've tried to do this video like a thousand times. So the first thing that you're going to do is choose the clip that you want to use. Then you're going to create your movie. Of course, you're going to have more than just one clip, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just using one clip and one clip only. All right, so the first thing that I normally do is come up to this little spinner uh, settings wheel and I will fade it in from black and fade it out to black. I just like the way it looks. It gives it a nice, like, aesthetically a pleasing eye and I'll leave it on simple. You can change the theme if you want, but I just leave it on simple because I don't usually use the, the different themes. Um, the only time the theme comes in handy is just for instance, I'll show you in one second where it comes in handy. Okay. So then after I make my settings like that, I will have that little plus thing out so that way I can easily access my other videos and sounds and stuff like that. So the first thing I'll do is start to play the video. Hey y'all, welcome back to the video. It's your girl XO Zoe Zoe once again with another one. And today I have a special guest, my cousin, the lovely, the only, Darnese Scott. Okay, so right here is where I would cut it out. Um, not cut it out, sorry, my verbiage. Right here is where I would split it. Um, and then I would, if you guys saw in the video, I probably did something like I zoomed in on her face or something like that. Um, because I don't like the way that I look right here. <laughs> you know, I'm funny. All right, so I'll zoom in here on her because she looks cute now. Like, what the fuck? All right, so then I look over again. So I don't really like how we all were like laughing, but I thought it was cute what she said. So I'll split it here again. And then if you ever want to get rid of um, footage in between, I think I might have just done it. Okay. So if you ever want to get rid of footage in between, all you have to do is click on that footage in between the two that you split and hit delete and it'll go away. So then it just jumps from Do you see that? Oh crap. So if you want to do that, of course, hey, like here, I think I zoomed in too, like from the beginning. Hey y'all, welcome back to the video. And then I'll just have it zoomed in on me. If you want to do zoom ins, you just have to click the plus button, pinch to zoom. And if you don't split it, it's going to zoom throughout the whole video. So make sure you do that. And then you can adjust it as long as you have that plus button there. So then. Hey y'all, welcome back to the video. It's your girl XO Zoe. And also, when these little split things, if you don't set it to be none, it'll be like something like one of this or like this or like this or something. So if you leave it on none, it just makes it look more sharp and more like professional, I guess. Um, like in the beginning when we were choosing the theme and I told you I would tell you when that came in handy. If you click theme down here, you'll see that. Hey y'all, welcome back to the video. It's your girl. That's what simple looks like. But if we were to change the theme, 
to like neon, this is how it'll look. Video, it's your girl. And that's not really, no, you don't really want that in your video. <laughs> Leave out all that extra stuff. Just hit none. It's just plain is better. All right, so then. The video, you it's your girl, XO Zoe Zoe, once again. With of course, after you do that, you can go in and you can chop up more as you want or zoom in, like, you know, to make like little nice things like that. Um, I think over here we were like clapping. Ah! Like so for um, special like sound effects and things like that, like there's applause right here. Okay, so obviously I don't need all of that. So I'll probably like just cut it off about here. Again, splitting and then delete here. Um, and then you can drag it around like as wherever you want it to go. And you guys, everything that I'm doing right now on the iPad, you can do on your phone. Um, I just like using the iPad because you have a wider screen. It's easier to click and make stuff more into detail. Um, <laughs> so then you can like stretch this out so that way it's clapping. But if you're going to clapping. <laughs> you should see how slow you move. He's like, I'm going to. Sorry, this is why it's the test part. I hold on. I got to make sure it's going to stay. All right, I stopped the video before my cousin went off, but um, <laughs> she was ready to go off on everybody. But okay, so you guys, you guys get the point. So if I wanted to make the clapping be like, <laughs> so yeah, so you guys get the point. So you can do your little um, you know, your little sound effects and things where you see fit. I don't want to tell everybody where to put their sound effects and things. You just have to do it with what you feel looks right or sounds right. And as you edit more, you'll get better. That's just how it goes. Um, I also wanted to show you guys, um, I have like different sound effects. I have ones that I got from off of my documents app on here. So I have like a click noise. When I want to do my subscribe, make sure you click um, subscribe and the notification bell. I have my click noise. I have a phone ding. All right. And then the wrong buzzer. That's what we use for the song association game. So um, I can show you guys before the end of this video how I get those sounds as well. But the next thing that I wanted to focus on was when you are trying to have different fonts and you're doing a green screen. Okay, so as everybody probably knows by now, you can have a green screen in your eye um, iMovie videos so you might be thinking like oh how do I use the green screen or like what is what is that really really for so this is where handy dandy keynote goes in so I'm just gonna go back here the brand new presentation so a white presentation like so if I was to start over from keynote I would delete this and then I would delete this and then I would edit the master slide to be green Let's see color green green like that and then make it a little lighter okay let me just make sure and then you want to go to slide slide size and do the 16 by 9 16 by 9 is going to be the size of the video so over here you have themes and over on this side you have the slide size Okay, so then after you hit the 6.9, you can hit done up in the corner. Um, okay, so now that you have your green screen, the next thing you're going to do is hit the plus sign. And you're going to go to a text text box. Or you can use a text box that was on. You don't have to delete. Like when I first deleted it, you don't have to do that. Okay, so now that you have your text box, you're going to click the text box and then hit the paintbrush. You're just going to up the size of this to like probably like a hundred honestly okay so I'm making it large making it large it all depends on the size of you that you want your text um so for instance I'm just going to show you guys something simple um a watermark so if I want to make a watermark on my video so I'm just going to do xo there it goes xo zoe's ho okay obviously this is not a cute print and obviously you might want to use like a color like white I don't know I just think it pops out better so again, I'm going to hit the paintbrush after I click on the word. I'm going to edit this color to be white. And then I'm going to change the font because I feel like this font is just not giving me cute girl vibes. I don't know. 
So I'm going to use, um, i use this one. I think I like this one. Okay, so for me, I just want this a little bit bigger. I might get OD with the bigness. Maybe I'll make it a little smaller. All right, and then sometimes you just have to play with it to see how, you know, if you like it over here, if you like it over here, whatever, whatever. It really doesn't matter. After you move, move it around, you know, you can let there be shadow. If you like that, that might actually look really nice. And then you can even give it a reflection. No, I don't like that. But, um, yeah, so I think that would actually look really nice on a video. So I might actually have to use that next time. So then the next thing that I do, I will section it up in the corner here or in this corner or down low or over here. And basically you can use this as your watermark. So that way throughout your video, you have your name on the screen. Okay, so the next thing that you want to do is export the video into movie you guys if you do not export it into movie you are going to have an image and it's not going to be usable okay so now that we did that we saved it to movie you're going to go back into your video that you have and then you're going to go to video as i already had it set up i'll start from the beginning so you're going to hit the plus sign video recently added you can already see it through the preview so then you're going to hit the three dots and do green slash blue screen okay so now you can see that my little xo zoezo there even though my x doesn't look like it's really an x <laughs> but you guys get the point if you guys didn't like um that font you can always use a different one but i'm gonna fix this because it's gonna bother me text font let's do this one this is cute i hope you guys enjoyed this video this is the end of part one make sure you guys stay tuned for part two and don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below see ya